Well, my question is about money, and just to let you know, I already have it on order. I haven't got the book yet, though. Um, I retired about three years ago after working for 35 years, and I love being retired. Um, it's, it's wonderful. Um, I receive a pension check each month, which I don't see ever changing the amount. And now that I've come into your your material, I want more. I want more, but I don't want to go back to work. Um, I want a lot of money. I want I want to travel the world. I want I want to build my home in Danville, and I want to I want to move back to the Bay Area where I love. And um, I just don't know how that can happen unless I go back to work. And I don't want to go back to work. Um, we got that one. <laughs> well, that's what other people are telling me I should do. Other people say, well, you need to go back to work. And it's like, I don't want to. Um, but what is, what is it about, we appreciated so much your opening words that you retired and you love that. What is it about that that is so, feels so much better to you than being at work? Have you been able to isolate what it is? Yeah, it's the freedom. It's the it's yes. the rest that I feel all the time instead right, of being so, exhausted. So what we want, what, what, we don't want you to go back to work either. <laughs> but you so easily and so accurately identified what it is about the retirement that you love. You feel free. And we were talking earlier about what the feeling of freedom is, is the absence of resistance. And the way to get to that feeling of freedom and that absence of resistance is by giving up control, giving up control of behavior and action. So think about, so now focus on the idea of control, the idea of what work feels like, the controlling of time and, and the controlling of your own behavior or being controlled by others or having to live within the guidelines that someone else is establishing, all of those things that make you feel not free. So focus upon, instead of the specifics of the work that you're glad to leave behind and focus upon the essence of, of why it feels good to leave that behind. And just for a minute, focus with us on the idea of the big difference between retirement and working is the absence of control because that is the reason that you're feeling so much more free and then now again we want to emphasize with you we are not in this discussion trying to get you to go back to work but we want to explain to you that in the determination not to go back to work which is the amplification of I want to be free and in working I cannot be free you are keeping a vibration active within you that will not let the money flow so whether you go back to work or whether you don't go back to work feeling like that will not let it flow it's a you have a better opportunity much better probability of allowing many 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 more dollars flow into your experience now that you are retired and feeling free than you ever did while you were working because while you are working you feel like you're in bondage and in the absence of the feeling of freedom you've got the thing that works blocked we so want to emphasize we know that you think that this much work and this much per hour or this much per year equals this much money and we say it is so minuscule by comparison with the power of attraction that you have relative to money so most who are working for money and have that mindset that I have to do this much and I can only do this much I can't stretch myself any further and this kind of work that I am trained to do only nets me this much return so there's no possible way that I can do the things that I want to do and so you said so much just now you said to us it's what we heard there's all of this wonderful stuff in my vibrational escrow returning to the Bay Area building my dream home in Danville living the life that I want to live it's all over here alive and well and you said and meant and I can't do that because it won't come to me if I don't work and I don't want to work and even if I was working I couldn't do all of that so the only reason it's not coming is because of the vibrational contradiction within you hasn't got anything to do with whether you work or don't work it's all about the story you're telling 
It's all about the story you're telling and the way you feel when you tell the story. In other words, and, and it, it's easy to understand why people think that the money that flows to them is equivalent to the action that they're able to offer. We know that, but if you will look, look around at people, and there are a lot of examples for you to see, and look at the money that some are earning and try to make sense of that kind of earning with the same 24 hours a day that everyone has. In other words, you can't get an education that justifies the money that some people earn. You can't, there aren't enough hours in the day or enough effort that can be offered to justify the money that some people earn. And what about those that are working harder than anyone that you've ever seen that get up at the crack of dawn, work all day, hardly take a break at all, hardly do anything for themselves, slump into bed, only sleep for a few hours and go back to work again. Some of them working two and three and four jobs and still barely eking out enough money to live on. How do you explain that? And we say it's because they are not leveraging through the power of the universe. They are trying to do it with action, which yields nothing in comparison with lining up with what's in your vibrational escrow. Through all the years that you've worked and all the years that you've lived, you have amassed vibrationally a veritable fortune. We are not kidding you one bit about them. And what has to be happening, not just with you, but with almost everyone, we don't think that you quite understand or believe that this vibrational escrow amounts to anything. Because if you believed it as we see it, if you knew it as we know it, you would do everything in your power to find vibrational alignment with it. And you would live the happy ever after life that you are wanting. So you just must not believe that it's over there or all of you would be working more diligently. 100% of your effort, Esther's too would be about lining up with what's in this vibrational escrow if you believed it as it is so we're gonna do a little sales job with you here just a little bit we can only bring you so far along in this but everything that exists that you see in terms of manifestation was at one time in a vibrational escrow like that this is not some airy fairy invisible sparkle dust sort of thing this is not some some story that we're telling you this is the basis of creation it is the prepaving of everything that you want it is valid it is real you've put it there it's being tended law of attraction is amassed not only your fortune but the means to the fortune the joyous journey to the fortune has already been lined up for you the question is where are you in relationship to it and you just showed us you're doing what almost almost everybody is doing you're telling a story that prohibits you from being aware you can't just like Esther couldn't find her pen you can't find because you don't have vibrational access to the path that will lead you to the manifestation of that because this story activates a vibration within you that makes you blind to all of this stuff that's swirling and coming about and it's the people who tell the story about this that get the ideas that are in the right place at the right time that feel the impulse that offer the investment that meet the person that in other words there are endless ways that this fortune can come to you your world is a wash in money there is more money flowing more abundantly today than ever before and people complain well the rich are just getting richer and the poor are getting poorer and we say the economy is expanding there is more to go around all of the time because every time an idea is born the equivalent economic factors that are necessary come into place too it's not that long ago you were trading birds and furs and and feathers and beads and stones that was the basis of your economy and now look at the basis of your economy now your economy is predominantly based upon ideas now your economy is about the vibrational basis that you are about you see and there is plenty there for all of you and anything that you earn will not detract one bit from what anybody else earns you just got to line up with what's in there you say that was good thank you thank you so how would you begin telling a story that matches that and if you want to know you can find yourself choking on the words of the story that feels more natural to you in other words I don't want to work so let's start with that story I know I don't want to work I don't want to work now let's make that story feel better which means I don't want to feel lack of freedom I don't want to be in bondage I don't want to feel lack of freedom I want to release resistance which means I want to let go of control 
which means this time I'm gonna do it different I'm not going to amass my fortune through action I'm gonna let the law of attraction bring it to me and I know it will be revealed to me and I know that I've put enough into my escrow and I know that there is a deservability factor and I don't feel undeserving I just haven't really known about lining up vibration and now I'm getting the the idea about lining up vibration I can feel that it's coming closer and I'm hopeful that I start feeling lighter and freer about that and meanwhile look what a good thing I've done for myself I have worked hard I have I have gathered I have a really good basis of a life that I'm living I am retired which means I do feel free I get to do predominantly what I'm wanting to do and the basis that I'm living in is really a nice place a nice bouncing off place I'm not feeling any discomfort or any deprivation I'm living a really wonderful life I'm feeling proud of myself of where I've put myself and now what a perfect time in my life to be there retired at this early age and reaching now for new things and having this philosophy and these new ideas and understanding the laws of the universe and I've already proven to myself that I don't want to go back into the traditional sort of work never wanted to do that don't have to do that I'm gonna do this differently I'm gonna stay right here in this nest that I've created and I'm just gonna appreciate it unending and appreciate myself for what I've accomplished and and I am now going to begin telling the story of abundance I'm going to begin dreaming the dream I'm going to catch up vibrationally with what's in my vibrational escrow and it's going to be so much fun to watch the universe cause me to rendezvous with the things that are necessary for me to rendezvous with and along this path to these dreams that I've stated the bigger better home the area that I really want to live in and all the freedom and abundance and all of the stuff that that goes with this as I am in the process of attracting what feels like that sort of ending place I am about to begin on the journey that is the time of my life because this is the time where I actually get to see myself fashion a story that feels better tell it until it feels natural then see the evidence of things moving in around it I'm about to show myself that it is not action or working or bondage or lack of freedom that brought me any of the things I just let as much of that in under those restrictions as was possible now I'm lifting all restrictions it's the perfect time of my life I'm in the perfect place of my life I know what to do my work I've just assigned myself new work I'm the writer of a new story I'm gonna tell the story the way I want it to be until I perfect the story as I want it to be not because the universe needs to hear the story in order to make it happen it's already amassed from what I've been living I'm telling this story I'm telling this story and lots of different versions of it for the singular intention of feeling good while I tell it because when I feel good while I tell it I'm lining up with what's already there so I'm gonna tell the story and watch what happens and tell the story and watch what happens and tell the story this is my new occupation I proclaim it to the world I am the teller of the story of the abundance of my life and I know that I live in a cooperative universe that will back up every sentence and paragraph that I write or speak what a wonderful profession I have I'm going to dictate to the universe for the purpose of aligning my energies the details of the fantastic life that I am now embarking on all is well here yes. Thank you.